It's almost like we have lost a certain amount of innocence, a certain amount of openness. We're bombarded by news. News has to be exciting, otherwise people turn it off, and it has to be controversial. For us in the arts, you have to connect with the audience and you have to hopefully make them go home feeling just a little, tiny little bit better about being on this earth. But if you can achieve that in, in whatever art form you're in, I think you, you're doing a good job. Someone of this caliber being able to take over the reins uh, at this time is a very uh, exciting time, I think, for everybody. The community, the orchestra, the state, I think in, in every possible way, this is a very amazing, amazing thing that we've done here. He brings with his arrival really a history of world music. He knows the world very, very well, and most importantly, he knows the music world very, very well. He is going to add to the richness of the symphony, and I think this is going to take it to a, an even higher level. He wouldn't be interested in this orchestra if it weren't in good shape. I don't think that he would have given us the time of day. He likes the orchestra and he understands the level it's on. Even with that, he understands the potential there. He himself was an oboist with the Concertgebouw Orchestra in Holland, which is where he grew up. He became its assistant conductor at um, a relatively young age, and since then, he's conducted every major orchestra in the world. He's greatly sought after. And where he goes, it seems world-renowned follows. They have to understand the relationship between the orchestra and the community, the relationship between the orchestra and the patrons and the audience. You're also appointing someone so that you can maximize their credentials, their connections, their experiences. And someone like Ada DeVart has 40 years of working with the greatest soloists and the greatest orchestras, and many of those people he's been associated with know that when he is working with an orchestra, um, they should pay attention. I'm really, really very happy that this comes about at this part of my life.